Sitting at his desk at Southside Community Center, Yaki Johnson is among the Parks and Rec staff helping kids be their best and have fun doing it. I just want to be a blessing to someone else because I knew my situation as a kid growing up. That situation for the former local and Hampton University football standout was growing up on the South Side in a single parent household, not always having something to do in the summer. But helping fill in those gaps were city programs like the ones he now runs with DPR. It means the world to me, honestly. Um, these programs mean everything. And beyond just getting him ready for football, Johnson says it got him ready for life. Taught me a lot just being uh, holding myself accountable, being on time, um, all the little things that made me the person that I am to this day. Yaki knows that it all starts right here. And Johnson's story was highlighted Monday as city officials laid out this year's summer programs to keep kids engaged and reduce gun violence. The best thing to do to keep guns out of kids' hands Put a ball in it, put a pin in it, put a camera in it. Among the new programs is called Late Night Gym, meant for 15 to 20 year olds Friday and Saturday nights at Fairfield Elementary and George with High School. Our effort to ensure that our kids stay safe this summer, but that our, we allow for our kids to be kids. Security will be provided by Richmond Police, who add they're restarting a partnership with Virginia State Police to run a program called Operation Safe Summer. Partnering with them and some of our federal, uh, some of the other federal agencies to try to combat gun violence. Other free and paid programs were also highlighted, including summer meals and swim lessons, noting several pools will be open Memorial Day and are already fully staffed for lifeguards, an issue in previous years. It goes to the funding of getting our starting salary at $17 now going up to 18 in July for us to be able to recruit and be able to do that. And as summer approaches, Mayor LaVar Stoney encouraged parents to sign their kids up for the camps and to stay curious about what they're doing. Where your kids are and who they're hanging out with. While Johnson says he's excited about what's to come this year and hopes to see a lot of kids out there. These programs can be definitely beneficial to the kids. Um, so if you're thinking about it, please do it. And regarding the late night gym program, Stoney says that name is just a placeholder and they'll be announcing a contest for the kids themselves to rename it, similar to what they did with the We Matter RVA program. At the Southside Community Center, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.